my attention that Brendan Schaub has cheated on his wife multiple times. Multiple and multiple and multiple times. You know, once a cheater, always a cheater. Like, you always continuously do the same shit. Even, like, if, if you look at all of his past experience and what he's done in the past and all those things that he's done... He's a failed comedian, failed MMA fighter. Well, he's he's actually made a lot of money from stand-up comedy, and and he kind of delegitimized delegitimized comedy completely, because now nobody takes comedy seriously anymore. Nobody cares about the LA scene anymore. Hey guys. <laughs> because, you know, I mean, the dude. The dude was passed off as an actual comedian, but he's not even a good comedian, dude. Like he's like a terrible comedian. Doesn't doesn't it's not it's not funny. I mean, he's not overly funny. He's not even funny, period. Um yeah, you know, and, and he's cheating on his wife now. And this is the information that I got from the subreddit. And there isn't even... It's not even a big subreddit, but... It's the fighter and the kid on... on the. It's the fighter and the kid sub... It's his own subreddit, dude. Like, his own fans don't like him. His own viewers expose him and constantly put up screenshots of him cheating on his wife and... His wife always unfollows him on Instagram every time she finds out that he cheated on her, and uh, she takes away the, the his name in his in her bio, and it's just kind of strange, man. He constantly cheats on his wife, and that kind of says a lot about his character as well. Um, he's all he's already a narcissist. Everybody knows he's a narcissist. He ruined Theo Vaughn's career. He he he's a, he, he he rides Joe Rogan's coattails. The LA comedy scene is kind of fucked up because of him. And now he's beefing with Ariel Helwani. He's getting exposed by Ariel Helwani. He's getting exposed by the subreddit. And the fact that he even has any type of success on YouTube and he's able to make all this money off his podcast and he's monetized on all these other YouTube channels is because... Of his affiliation with Joe Rogan. I mean, Rogan is talented. Brendan Schaub is just... It, it, you know, success is not all about talent and hard work. It's about who you know and and where you are and how much money you have. And it's really about who you know and the connections that you've made throughout your life. You know? Connections. Influence. Manipulation. That's all that that's all that's all that matters on the on social media. Nobody cares if you have talent. A guy like Brendan Schaub can succeed on YouTube. Okay, come on. Like let's let's be real. He didn't have enough talent to be a fighter. He didn't have enough talent to be an NFL NFL player. He didn't have any of those any of those things. <coughs> and to make it on YouTube, you don't have to be talented. You don't have to be talented to make it on YouTube, man. And that's evident through Brendan Schaub. Now, let's look at these little texts here. Let's look at these texts right here. <clears throat> Brendan Schaub says, where, where are you at? And the girl says, Boston. <clears throat> and then he says, I was just there, girl. And then he balks at the private profile. Ugh, I'm devastated. Truly. I just made it public for you. Good lord, gimme. Easily. Anytime that body is troubled. Duh, you're in Columbus. I was born and raised. Easton is where the funny bone is, I'm pretty sure. So every time he goes out on tour... Every time he goes out and goes to do these comedy shows, 
he's going to these motels and these hotel rooms in these areas and he's and he's just cheating on his wife having orgies constantly sleeping with all these different women i mean i guess a lot of you people in the comment section would probably love to do <laughs> that you guys would probably love to do what what brendan Schaub does because sleeping with ig models and having all of this access to beautiful women i mean you're gonna tend to step out in your relationship it's all about access and how and you're only as loyal as your options you know that's another thing that people talk about i'm not make i'm not trying to downplay the fact that he cheated on his girl girlfriend slash wife i don't know what label she has but I'm not downplaying the cheating, but I kind of understand where it comes from because the proximity that you have to different beautiful women, you're not going to be in a... I mean, the only reason that he probably wants to stay with her is because of the children, and that's something that a lot of people do. They stay in uh, relationships. I wouldn't be surprised if his girlfriend is cheating, cheating on him as well. I would not be surprised if she's cheating on him and he's cheating on her and they're only together because they have children together. And you know, sometimes people are in marriages because of business, business and they have ties together because of children or a business contract contract. But I don't even think that they're married. I don't think they are. I mean, I think his, that's his girlfriend or whatever. You know, using your influence to constantly cheat on your wife. And I know, I, and, and let's be honest. That girl that he, 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 he smashed, she probably did it because she thought she could get a come up. Or she could get, or she could gain something from sleeping with this dude. <laughs> because she looks at his Instagram followers. She looks at his YouTube uh, subscribers and all this stuff. And she's like... Oh, this, this 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 motherfucker is a meal ticket. I can get a check from him. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how that's the thought process that this girl had. Every, everybody, every girl. Look, man. When you get successful and you get lots of money, there's gonna be tons of people that are trying to get what you have, They're trying to put your hand in your in, put their hand in your pocket. And that girl, that never wanted you when you were at when you. When you didn't have any money, she is there now looking at you like a meal ticket and she's interested in you now because of your wealth or your success or your fame. And that's how it works. That's how the world works. People are looking to get what they can gain. If you don't have anything, then nobody's interested. But if you do have something, they're just looking for money and how they can gain something from you. Look at look at that picture right there. And that's a picture of Brendan Schaub and he says, Gimme, I'm headed right back to that bed in Can in Cancun in a month. So they already had cereal. You see? Told you you should meet on tour with that perf perfect ass. You see, you see, these are these are documented facts. This is his fucking check mark right there. That's his official Instagram account. <laughs> 